All right, good morning. So last night I camped with that Czech couple who I mentioned yesterday and we just left camp. They just left like literally just like two minutes before me. So they're just up ahead. So I'll probably hike with them a little bit today or at least take some breaks with them. Uh, hopefully it's a nice day on the trail. I'll be heading back on the main CDT red line and off of this kind of alternate which involved some road walking so it'll be good to get back on the trail soon. Also it's a really nice temperature this morning. It's kind of like the perfect temperature. It's not like too cold but I mean it's cold enough to wear this hoodie but it's a nice temperature. It's not it's not actually cold because it's funny that just a few days ago I was telling you that it's like really really cold especially the mornings with like freezing temperatures and it didn't even get that warm like in the middle of the day until maybe the afternoon but yeah there were a couple of cold days like not long ago but then dropping down into this big valley uh, into the town of Anaconda it was like boiling hot it's crazy I did not expect to be going from those cold temperatures to like suddenly being like too hot and like you know 90 degrees Fahrenheit or something but I guess uh, the main reason for that is the change in elevation so the trail recently has mostly been at like maybe around 8,000 feet and some of the passes that you go over are like just a little over 9,000 feet but uh, that town Anaconda is all the way down at 5,000 feet and I noticed at a certain point after Anaconda uh, I went down to like 4,800 or maybe even slightly below that and yeah that's the first time in a very long time that I've seen you know an altitude that's below 5,000 feet I was very surprised to see it I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure that the last time that I was below 5,000 feet was like the very beginning of this trail like probably the last time was like somewhere around Lordsburg in New Mexico like within the first hundred miles of the trail or something I don't think after that I really went below 5,000 feet um, definitely not after the first half of New Mexico so it's been a long time it's been like since the middle of May <laughs> was the last time that I was actually below 5,000 feet even the Great Basin actually I think the lowest point there was still above 6,000 feet so yeah it's been a while since I've been actually like at such a low altitude uh, or what to me now seems like such a low altitude for a while it felt like anything below 10,000 feet seemed like low <laughs> just because in Colorado you're like always above 10,000 feet even some of the towns were above 10,000 feet and like pretty much all the towns have been at least above 7,000 feet for a while so yeah anyway uh, things are starting to change but actually now I'm going back up and where I rejoined the CDT is more like 8,000 feet or at least 7,000 again so uh, yeah and I'll probably be at that kind of elevation profile for a while, like at least above 7,000. But I know where the trail finishes, uh, Waterton Lake, is like maybe the lowest point on the trail. Or it's the same altitude as like the very beginning of the trail. I think it's like 4,200 feet. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's what the elevation profile is looking like, or at least the altitude is looking like. All right, so I'm back on the main CDT trail again. So I was just looking at the maps and I realized that from where I camped last night to where I started the day today, uh, it was pretty much exactly 400 miles, uh, you know, give or take a couple miles, but 
pretty much bang on 400 miles to Canada. So yeah, feel free to place your bets on how many days it takes, uh, including today, all the way to Canada. But I'm hoping it can be less than two weeks. We'll see. That requires high mileage. But uh, that's the hope. All right, so it's almost 7.30 now, and I've actually done, I think, over 30 miles already. So I'm definitely gonna reach 33 miles today, but I think I'm gonna aim for like 35. And it's been a surprisingly easy day. I've been just cruising down the trail, moving really fast, not taking many breaks, and feeling great. So yeah, it's been a good day. And I haven't seen that Czech couple basically all day, because well, I passed them early in the morning, like after we left camp. They like stopped to kind of have breakfast or something. And yeah, I've just been moving really fast and not taking a lot of breaks. So they're somewhere behind me, but I don't know if I'll see them again because I'm hoping to just keep pushing big days, but we'll see. I did actually catch up to a different couple though. I don't know if I've mentioned them before, but I originally met them like maybe in Lima or Ledo. Veggie and Karma and Veggie and Karma are a couple and they've actually both already hiked the CDT before so this is their second time hiking it um, and they're really friendly people but uh, yeah I just passed them not long ago so 
might end up camping near them or I don't know I'll probably see them tomorrow but yeah so pretty solid day nice day just cruising through the forest uh, probably gonna hit 35 miles today definitely 33 and I'm gonna aim for something similar tomorrow hopefully I'm feeling as good as I am today uh, tomorrow so we'll see but I'll see you guys tomorrow